So this is a quick tutorial about the integration of our uh, Swim component with the Oceanology plugin. So make sure to have the plugin enabled before to start. And let's go. So first we need to modify our interface. So let's open it. And then in the function get water volume info, we need to add one output. Let's call it then compile and save and it's done. Then we need to okay so make sure to have this option enable in order to see it and then move to the oceanology folder right here and then in advanced blueprint oceanology buoyancy detect surface you can duplicate it in order to keep the original one if you want So here we need to unpin this, we don't need this, and inside our tick function we don't need this part. So we can unpin this, and here we need to pass uh, the location of our character, so drag the owner okay so now we can connect it here and then we need to implement two events so the first one is this one and the second is the exit drag the reference of the oceanology here and then connect these two events here So now this is done, we can compile and save. And then we need to modify our ocean. So let's go to mod and the BP Oceanology Infinity. So you can drag it in your scene and place it uh, wherever you want. Okay. So open the blueprint and then we need to implement our interface so in the class settings we need to add our swim interface compile and save and now in this function get water volume info we need to enable this yeah and then we need to have the the height of the wave so we have the function called evaluate wave 8 that take two input so The first one is the location of the player and for the second one you can just put 20 or, uh, or 40 if you want and then we need to drag um, this inside the Z location water volume. Okay, now compile and save. 
So for the Oceanology Infinity, I prefer to modify some settings. This one, buoyancy, prefer to set it to base offset. And also the size of the wave, I prefer to lower it because the I don't know why, but the 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 accuracy of the the accuracy of the buoyancy is not really perfect. So I prefer to lower it. Okay. Now we need to modify our swim component. So let's get back to our swim component and open it. And first we need to modify this function get current water info. So here, drag the is oceanology inside the output node, the return node. Okay, compile and save. And then inside this function, get z location current water volume. Just add the if statement here. And drag the is oceanology here. Then you can copy this return node and paste it here. And take the Z location water volume inside this input. Compile and save. Um, then we need to modify one more thing inside our tick function. So just here we need to add a if and get current water volume info and then if this is true we can move here inside our current z location with beyond c and if not just lower okay and now we need to add a new if here and do the same thing so is oceanology is true we can go directly here inside the current z location with beyond c and if not move it. Okay, now I think that it's almost done. We need to add this component inside our main character. So let's find our main character here. And let's add the component. that we made earlier okay so now I think it's done we can test it yeah et voila also you can dive in the water Go up and everything is uh, working properly. If you have any question, feel free to ask on our Discord channel and see you next time.